Hello everyone, my name is Loki Cola and welcome to this uh, channel update thingy. I haven't had one of these in a very long time actually. Even though I feel like I <laughs> should have made some at some point or another. But hey, I'm doing it now because uh, it's actually kind of needed. Um, because I need to talk a little bit about how content is going to look throughout November and uh, early December. Excuse me as I take a sip of my coffee. <sighs> anyway, um, so yeah. Um, as a, basically, content is going to be looking a little bit different. Um, compared with usual because my regular schedule has basically boiled down, lap, boiled down to um, having a video on Fridays for the most part. Uh, I think I've been pretty cons uh, consistent with that for a, for a while now. Uh, at least I think so. Maybe I remember incorrectly. I, I don't know. Um, and then having a stream on either the Saturday or the Sunday. I said I've been fairly consistent with that schedule. Um, and so throughout November things are going to be looking slightly different. Um, there's still going to be content. Uh, you're going to uh, get the exact same amount of content. Actually no, that's a lie. You're actually going to get slightly more content than usual. And the reason is that um, I've uh, had a couple of games in my mind that I would get around to stream. And uh, I have, as of the last few days, actually sat down and compiled a list to kind of organize it. And uh, for me, it's not exactly news because I knew beforehand, I, I, I knew like already in October that I'm going to have to do more s streams um, if I want to cover all the games I want to play um, because either some of these are uh, on a seasonal schedule so I'm kind of dictated by those games especially the ones I play more regularly and uh, basically uh, follow the seasonal updates um, I think Rainbow Six Siege and Modern Warfare are the two games I've been doing that for a while and that is still actually receiving content. So yeah, the, the, there's uh, some seasonal updates that I kind of need to schedule around. Then there's also the fact that I've noticed that even in cases that aren't necessarily um, time sensitive, uh, I've noticed that whenever I have a game, uh, in fact I have an exa a great example of that, and that is Battlefield 5. Because uh, throughout the entire summer, I was thinking, okay, maybe next week I'll play the summer update for Battlefield 5. But something else came up literally every week that I felt was a little bit more interesting, perhaps. So I, I'm, I'm trying to not do like a whole, oh, I guess I'll just push it up for another weekend. Because uh, eventually there's just, I'm just going to do that cons constantly. Um so, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, and the reason why I have so many games on the list to play is that, uh, as I said, because of the seasonal updates, uh, some games have received the DLC content that I would like to check out or some type of update, uh, even though there may not be necessarily time sensitive. Um, in fact, on the screen right now, I'm, I'm going to have put up not all of the games I've wrote on my list. Uh, I kind of want to keep some of these a bit of a secret, uh, especially in case I don't actually get around to stream them. But uh, the, the, the games I have put up on the screen now are the ones that I'm considering for November. And as you can see, that, that's more than four games. <laughs> um, so there, that's... Uh, that I won't be able to cover those uh, throughout November if I 
only did one stream a, a weekend, but I think I'm gonna have to do two streams a weekend now, um, maybe. Um, although I, 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 I kind of had it um, a couple of times, uh, some double streams, and I feel that I actually worked pretty fine, so I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, and with the schedule of those being uh, Friday for the first stream, and then the second one might be a l not quite set in stone, but I think uh, I would try to aim more for Sunday. Although it could also be, uh, as usual, it could be on a Saturday, uh, depending on what other plans I have, or if I have a stream with guests on, that might work better. Um, and we might be able to play longer because, uh, well, after Sunday comes Monday and I have both college and work to deal with, so <laughs> can't stay up too late. But yeah, uh, to kind of go through this list, <clears throat> um, the first one on the docket and the one I'm going to play on this Friday is Ace Combat 7. Because last Wednesday or Thursday, I can't remember, they released the... Uh, the latest DLC aircraft, uh, so I want to check that, uh, check that out, um, because I've been really looking forward to this piece of DLC, and I've had a lot of fun streaming uh, the game uh, the last few times. I am going to check out the new aircrafts on this Friday, so I'm going to muck around in both uh, some of the campaign missions uh, and the multiplayer. Although, as you can see on the screen, I actually have two Ace Combat 7 streams planned. Um, one for the actual aircrafts, but this uh, DLC bundle, at least if you purchase uh, the entire bundle, if you purchase the aircraft individual, individually, you won't actually get uh, the uh, Zero skins, which you get if you buy the uh, complete collection. <laughs> Uh, and uh, the reason I've decided to do two streams is that I want to showcase both, but I don't want to be stressed out uh, this Friday since uh, I, I don't really know when the stream will start. Um, that's kind of how I, I guess that's the downside. Like generally, I try to go for um, for like seven or eight p.m. Uh, Central European time. Um, so later in the evening and because uh, there's a whole bunch of zero skins and I also want to give each original aircrafter uh, the time they deserve that's I, I, I feel like I feel like it's better to just split up two streams one for the actual aircrafts and then the uh, <clears throat> the stream with the zero skins where uh, I don't know maybe I'll actually host a uh, lobby myself and maybe <laughs> have a bit bit of like hey uh, if you're watching this live you may be able to join and uh, be able to uh, completely annihilate me on uh, Rockaroya because that's um, probably that's probably the only map in that game that closely resembles area B7R from Ace Combat Zero and uh, if I can get that as zero fiend as possible that that, that would be great so yeah, that's two streams, um, and I think both are going to be on Fridays, because uh, that comes like right to Friday. Um, so the first of those streams will be focusing on the aircrafts, and that will be this Friday. And the stream focusing on the Zero Skins it will also be on a Friday, although not next Friday, uh, because I want to have different games uh, in between. Um, the, uh, the next Friday, I'm actually thinking about streaming some Fall Guys. Uh, season 2 launched last month or so, I don't remember, and I've been curious about it. Played a bit of it uh, when the game launched, and I thought it was fun. Um, I played a little bit more of it, and I think it's a fun and cute game. Um, I don't know if I necessarily am going to be become a, like a big Fall Guys streamer, <laughs> uh, but I am curious enough to check out the second season because it's well I, th that's honestly the biggest thing I'm curious about like how are they actually gonna treat this as a live service because uh, well it is a live service game so I'm curious about that and the fact that it's medieval me makes me 
makes me interested. Yeah, probably some Fall Guys Friday uh, on next Friday. And then the Zero uh, skin Bonanza, whatever, will be on the following Friday. Um, the rest of the games, I don't really have a specific schedule. Um, in fact, uh, there are, as you can see, there are some question marks on, around some of the, if not the entire game, at least a certain segment of the game. One of the, one of the games I'm gonna play, uh, which I actually said I were, would play uh, on last Sunday, but I didn't really feel like streaming, uh, so I didn't do that. Uh, but one game I'm gonna play at some point uh, is actually Call of Duty World War II. Now, why would I play that game? Well, they actually recently had their final playlist update, and uh, basically they asked the uh, uh, the r slash World War II subreddit um, to vote for a couple of game modes to be featured in the well featured game modes section uh, for their final playlist update. So, kind of get the community's say on that, since they will. They, well, they will not update it anymore. And uh, one of those modes that I actually voted for uh, is uh, Horde Points, which is actually a mo mode I think is really fun in that game. It's for those who, for those of you who haven't played it, it's basically hard point, except a team captures the hard point, a bunch of zombies start spawning in and rushing towards the objective, and it, it, it gets chaotic. Chaotic, but it's actually pretty fun. Um, They've also basically made most, if not all, of the limited time modes in that game uh, available as just standard game modes. So that will also be interesting. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to play that because it's a, it's a decent card game. It's not my favorite, uh, but I do enjoy it. Um, I do have some good nostalgic feelings, even though I feel like the last time I streamed it kind of shattered that those memories were like, oh, this this feels so yank now after after being used to Modern Warfare uh, 2019, and especially with all the inaccurate cosmetic skins. Uh, I can't believe that that game never got more flack for that compared to Battlefield 5. Then again, most of the absurd one came uh, came at like uh, the Halloween event, like the following year. So I guess people didn't care. Speaking of Battlefield 5, that's also a game I'm thinking about playing sometime in November. Possibly in December. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that works out. Um, I know there's a community games update for that game this November, which will be the actual final update. But I don't know if I necessarily want to time my stream around that. I don't know if uh, how. I mean, I mean, I mean it, it, it is a good thing. But I don't know if I necessarily care about it. The reason I'm a little bit hesitant, like, it, well, the reason why I'm also being open for it to be sometime in December is that I'm gonna have guests on that one. In regards to Battlefield One, the event calendar for on the Battlefield website, uh, well, I guess it's technically the EA, the, the Battlefield subsection of the EA website. They actually have it listed in November, November 16th. 22nd that there's the that the mode of the week for Battlefield 1 is going to be official B2BOE it's basically back to basics where everyone only uses bolt action rifles I'm not sure what OE means though I, operations maybe I don't know but I don't know maybe, maybe that could be a something fun to do um, um, the next game on the list is <clears throat> Rainbow Six Siege Shadow Legacy or Operation Shadow Legacy. Um, that one is definitely gonna be sometime in November because I, uh, I, mean, I mean, they haven't really announced anything, but uh, the last, like, the fourth season of each year usually starts sometime in December, so I think I wanna be safe and get it done with in November. Um, I also know that the Sugar Fright event is still going on for this week. I don't know if I'll play it for that, though. Um, but yeah, some Siege is definitely in order. And then there's um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Season 6 question mark. 
I haven't decided yet uh, on that one, but I I'm keeping it open for a, as a possibility to kind of get that um, supposedly final uh, final uh, season of the game. Uh, however, I kind of count the Halloween stream as the season six stream because, well, the Halloween event was during season six. <laughs> um, I'm still leaving it open because I also want to level up the battle pass, so uh, <laughs> I may try to squeeze in a stream of that, uh, so I don't necessarily have to be like, oh, I want uh, want to play Modern Warfare, I don't want to stream anything else. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's undecided. I've also put down Star Wars Squadrons, oh, which is funny because I actually don't own the game. Um, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> But I, I, I did want to pick it up, I just didn't think I would have time to do it when it released. And then it released and I realized that, oh, I actually had plenty of time. So that's a little bit awkward. But I think I'm pro at this point I'm probably going to pick it up on Black Friday. I'm hoping it will be discounted on Black Friday, otherwise I will be very, very disappointed. So yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely a game I'm considering playing. Um, well, uh, not really considering the I'm planning to play on it, but that may not be until early December, probably. Since, well, as I said, I'm gonna have to wait for Black Friday, and I don't know exactly when that is. Um, and if I end up picking a physical copy, that well, that's probably gonna take a little bit extra time to get it delivered and all that. And yeah, I think that's about it. I, uh, as I said, I have a couple of other games I'm considering, although that they may be later for December, possibly. So I, 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 I there, I, I don't know, I'm, there are some games I'm considering, but I, I don't want to uh, necessarily um, announce a game I'm going to be streaming and then not having it streamed, because uh, that, that that's also the thing, I'm all, like, even with all these games, Laid out. I'm also gonna have to deal with the fact that there are gonna be some, probably some limited time mode or events that could happen that may be really fun for a stream. Uh, maybe not events, since we just had Halloween events and uh, there's usually not anything until until Christmas time. So yeah, I've, boy did I babble on about streams, but then again, streams I think are my primary type of content and in, in fact I have a point to make about Weekend at Locust for December but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna start with November <clears throat> and uh, basically as, as I've been saying I have a lot of games planned uh, to stream throughout November and possibly early December and in order to do to really get to all them I'm gonna have to do at least two streams every weekend or most weekends um, so that begs the question of what happens with videos, um, because usually when I do two streams instead of one, I tend to not upload a video, because, well, I tend to, um, if I stream on the Friday, then I consider that the content of that Friday. Um, however, I also don't necessarily want to completely stop uploading videos, uh, you know, because, I don't know, um, maybe there are some people uh, subscribed to the channel that prefer the, uh, the sh shorter video format instead of the long streams. Even though I'm gonna basically double down on streaming for November, I also don't want to completely stop with videos, um, because, well, that's kind of... Uh, as I said, there may be some people that enjoy the videos more than the streams, so I don't want to uh, take away that content just because I need to double down on the streams. Um, although that begs the question if I'm... I, I don't know, may, may, maybe possibly I just upload on Fridays anyway and have a stream on Fridays, I don't know. I, I feel like that may be the best after all. Because uh, I think in the past I've kind of had uh, either uh, Mondays and Wednesdays as video uploads. However, I'm not sure an either day would really work because I work on those evenings. Um, 
so either I have to basically get the video uploaded before I go, uh, and that may not be a great thing considering, well, it's a freaking pandemic, we have, uh, <laughs> I have family members that, uh, that either uh, work from home or or uh, go to school from home, so I, I don't necessarily want to take bandwidth to upload a video. But I also get home pretty late, so it's gonna and like it doesn't. I don't know. Maybe I'll still stick with the Fridays, but possibly change it to a different day. I'm gonna have to think about it. The second reason I also don't want well, don't want to completely do away with videos for a while is because. Um, uh, I, uh, well, the next video is gonna be a Modern Warfare one, and it's gonna be themed around its Halloween event. And, well, that can't really wait too long. <laughs> I also have a only in gaming video that isn't necessarily spooky Halloween themed, but it could be sort of kind of related, so I've kind of been saving on that one uh, for basically around this time. And then, I have, I don't know, I haven't actually played the Sugar Fright event, but I may actually do that if only because it would trigger my OCD if I skipped one seasonal event. <laughs> but uh, that one doesn't necessarily have um, the same priority as the Modern Warfare Halloween event, because while I, I, I don't know, Sugar Fright doesn't really scream Halloween to me, it feels more April Fools or Christmas. Basically, this is a long-winded uh, channel update. Say that there's going to be more content in November. Um, I'm still going to have to decide whether I st will still upload the videos on Fridays or if I'm going to have to pick a different day. Maybe I did say something about oh, I'm there are some things I'm considering for December um, for Week in a Locust that I feel is worth bringing up um, because by that time, basically. I won't really have a multiplayer game that I will f follow on a regular basis to keep up with the seasonal updates. Well, there, there's still going to be Siege, but my personal interest in Siege has kind of dropped steadily. Um, and uh, there, there's usually a long time between those seasons, so it's not really that regular. But uh, come December, it's going to be the end of Season 6 for Modern Warfare. It's going to be the start of Season 1 for Black Ops Cold War, and uh, while well, I'm not going to pick it up on launch, so I won't stream that. Um, of course, Warzone is going to get integrated into Black Ops Cold War, and that's going to be interesting to see, but I don't know if that's necessarily going to be something, oh, there's a new Black Ops Cold War season, let's jump on 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 Warzone. Uh, and, and the reason I bring this up is that maybe, maybe things will get a little bit more interesting regarding games, because I feel, I don't know, I, I, I do feel I'm currently in a pretty decent place. I feel I have a couple of games that are pretty regular, and then I can do some one-offs whenever I feel like it. But it's going to be fun to really not to have uh, like the same old um, multiplayer games too basically rely on for for streamed content so that's going to be interesting um in fact i'm actually maybe considering the idea of playing through an entire single player game through weekend at locus in some form but uh, th there's going to be a lot of things to consider for me uh, but that that's a possibility um come december i actually have one game I'm thinking about um, that I'm not gonna reveal in case it doesn't happen. Um, I will say though, December might be Star Wars themed in general because um, I've kind of been um, well, uh, not really f through October, but September certainly. Um, August, I consumed a lot of Star Wars content, and I'm probably going to consume a lot more Star Wars content come during November and December, since uh, Disney Plus is out now in Sweden. Yeah, there might just be a lot of Star Wars themed content. I didn't mention Squadrons. There's uh, maybe it's time for a, I guess, a proper Battlefront 2 stream, i.e. Capital Supremacy or maybe Galactic Assault. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, this is way in December. Uh, that's going to be a while. So yeah, basically the TLDR of the channel update is that I'm going to double down on streams. Um, because there's a lot of games that I'm planning and kind of want to get around to and I don't want to uh, constantly push it, push, it, um, push it forward because other stuff may need to be prioritized. So yeah, uh, um, in, in, in regards to those games, I'm, I would actually be curious to know if there's any of those that um, you would be more interested to watch. Um, if you guys would let me know. If some of these games are, oh, I would actually like to see that. I may, I'm probably gonna prioritize those. Um, although, as I said, Ace Combat Seven, Fall Guys, Ace Combat Seven stream too. That's gonna be back-to-back uh, -back streams on the following Fridays. But nothing else is really planned. So yeah, and the videos will still be continued um, since I still want to have videos for those of you that may not. Uh, that may prefer that type of content. Uh, I haven't decided yet if they should be on the still be on Fridays or maybe some other day. Um, I don't know. There isn't really any other day that I feel would work as well. Yeah. Basically, you're gonna get a lot more content than usual. I.e., well, you're still gonna get a video every weekend, but you're not gonna get two streams every weekend or most of the weekends anyway. At the very least, the following three weekends. Um, so yeah, but now I've, I, 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 I can't things keep things short. Um, so yeah, that's really all I want to say. Uh, probably another unnecessarily long channel update. I don't know. I, I, I guess that's just how things are. I'm awful being concise, but you probably already know that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, that's that's all for the channel update and I will see you possibly on Friday possibly earlier depending on when the Modern Warfare video is gonna be up although I'm, the more I think about it, it's probably gonna be Friday I feel that's more realistic but regardless of my first stream for this month is gonna be on Friday so yeah that's all so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop this before I come up with a new topic